the link to the check. I threw this shit for my set. Bitch, you know we are the best. I wear out like a test. I go so hard as the rest. Welcome back to Marv Academy. You already know it's your boy Marv. Back with a new video today. I'll be showing you guys how to get stronger. And you probably won't believe me based on the exercises that we are about to do. But if you do these exercises at least once a week, you will see you will become stronger. And that's a promise. The first exercise we are going to do today is the wrist curl with the barbell your it's very important to work out your forearms because it will help you with so many other different exercises like your pull-ups your bench press uh, shoulder press and push-ups you you use these muscles in order to get the maximum amount of reps that you can because when these muscles are weak it limits the amount of sets that you can do and when you can't perform the max amount of sets it limit the amount of strength that you can get so in order to increase the amount of strength that you can get is by working on the small muscles we all tend to forget about these small muscles Your forearm has about eight muscles in it, um, but the major ones we'll be working on today are the brachialis, brachioradialis, flexor carpi ul ulnaris, and flexor carpi radialis, uh, the pronator teres, and the palmaris longus. Now, you could use the bench also with a dumbbell to do the wrist curls as well. It allows you to really concentrate on the muscle. It makes it a bit harder, but you know, the harder you work, the better you get. That's how it works when it comes to the gym. And you could switch it to a vertical position. works on the on the pronator terrace and now I am doing the same thing but weight free you don't always need a weight to work out these muscles because just flexing your forearm is an exercise and you could see in my arm how the muscles are moving and they are getting very, very tight. See? I see. What it do, nigga? But like I said, if you do these exercises, you will see, you will be able to do more pull-ups, hold yourself up better. You will be able to do more push-ups, your bench press will get better. Because in chemistry they say, the limiting reagent meaning that it limits the amount of product that you can make. exercises we're going to be working on the lower back and especially the erector spinae is the muscle that we'll be focusing on right now your lower back is 
one of the muscles that you always have to make sure that you get it'll prevent back pain it'll prevent back injury when you are doing your squats and your other exercises it'll bring stability to your body in general for your everyday activities and first exercise is the superman try to get your upper body and legs off the floor and then when you get to the top you pause just for a little bit and then get back down this is a very effective exercise for your lower back if you're experiencing lower back pain i suggest you give these a try if you somebody that sit at work all day i suggest you give these a try because it will help strengthen your lower back and it just makes your life so much easier it'll prevent injury when you are doing squats because you are applying a lot of weight and you could also do them alternately they are called alternate supermen sending the messages through your um, nervous system it, it gets complicated sometimes <laughs> you could get it confused but I think I got the hang of it This next exercise is called the body weight hyperextension. And what you do is you place your thighs on the pad and then go down and bring yourself back up. This is another very hard but very effective exercise around here. You do this enough, your lower back will become very strong. You will just become a very strong human being, period. It's like, don't forget about the small muscles. The small muscles make you stronger, you know? Sometimes we may forget and just focus on the big muscles. You know, our biceps, triceps, so we could look bigger, but we could look bigger, but any any small move can injure us because we have these small muscles that are weak and we won't be able to perform to the maximum because these muscles are weak. And you could also add some weights. I added the uh, 25 pound here and I'm doing sets of tens. Now, I don't like to give people the sets that they should do because I believe we're not training for um, a bodybuilding competition. So I want people to just go and do whatever they are comfortable with. Don't be lazy, but push yourself and do what you're comfortable with. Next exercise, we are going to do the, ab the abductor muscle. This is the abductor abduction machine. And this is a machine most men don't like to get on it because we don't like to open our legs. It feel weird, but I do not care. I'm all, I'm in there for the games. 